breathtaking period for our eagles to come back stronger, clenching a new continental championship. It's your Ma'atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in-depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Mohsin's goal is enough to send Al Ahli to Cup Quarter Finals. Seven players score as Al Ahli defeat Al Ghaba 7 0 in a friendly match. Three day rest for Al Ahli players. Basketball Al Ahli win Cairo League title. Hanagoda wins National Youth League. Al Ahli defeated MP 1 0 on Saturday night in the Egyptian Cup round of 16 to secure a place in the competition's quarterfinals. Our golden substitute Salah Mohsen scored the only goal in the game a couple of minutes after his arrival to the pitch. We are set now to face pyramids in the quarterfinals of the competition. Al Ahli men's football team achieved a comfortable 7 0 victory over Il Ghaba on Tuesday in a friendly game. The Red Eagles had the upper hand since the beginning of the game, scoring six impressive goals in the first half. Batsu Musumani, Al Ahli's head coach, decided to give the players a three day rest from training. The Red Eagles will be back at a test stadium on Sunday to continue their preparations for our game against Niger Union Sportive Grandement National in the Kiev Champions League round of 32. Al Ahli men's basketball team managed to win the Cairo League title after defeating Gezira 76 55 at Cairo Stadium Hall. The Red Eagles dominated the game from the beginning and managed to win four consecutive quarters to be crowned as the Cairo League champions. Hannah Goda, Al Ahli table tennis player, managed to win National Youth League after defeating Farida Muhammad, her teammate, 3 0 in the final on Wednesday. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm your Ma'atwa. See you next week.